So now that we've got our first triangle made, uh, it's time to add a couple more and uh, build our tree. So making sure I've got a selection tool active, I'm going to left click on that triangle to make sure it's selected. And then you'll notice, of course, that it is blue. So if I go across to the properties panel, there is the appearance options and there is the blue in there, which matches the color of my triangle. If I left click on that color chip and then it'll give us a pop out menu. Uh, these are all the sort of saved swatches that are available for us to use in this specific document. So I'm going to pick a, a light green from here just to change the color. And then when you've done, you can hit the return key. Notice that our object or triangle doesn't have any border around the outside, which of course is the stroke. Now, if I show you the stroke in here it is a, a white box with a red line running through it. If I left click on that, if I hover over that swatch itself, it's called non So it basically means no colors you've probably guessed. And I'll hit the return key. From here then, I can go up to the edit menu and I can choose copy. I can then go back to the edit menu and amongst the other options for paste is something called paste in place, which means that it'll paste another version of that triangle in exactly the same place as the original. So when I click on that, it will appear as though nothing has actually happened where it has. You have to hover your cursor over what is now the pasted and selected version and drag and move that down. And you'll notice now that we have two. Now, smart guides will give a little bit of what feels like resistance on the mouse here to try and keep you locked, uh, moving up and down only. So there's a, a, a magenta colored line that is connecting from the center of our copied triangle to the center of the original one. So that will help us keep them aligned perfectly in there. When you've got that positioned roughly to match the sketch, you can let go of the mouse and then we'll keep that one selected. In the next video, I'll show you how to duplicate objects.